But to show you briefly, I mean, we have, you're probably aware that P equals VI for electricity. Yes. But at the same time, um, we know that power by definition is, you know, work over time. Yep. Now work is force times displacement. over time. And in this case, your force is, you know, F equals QE. So therefore it's going to be Q times E for electric field strength. So it's going to be Q times E times S over T. But to be, remember that I mean, there's different ways you could do this. Um, we can either take Q over T, it might be easier to take Q over T, um, or we could take S over T, either way. But remember, E must equal V over S. So I'll, I'll do it this way, but they're all equivalent. So you can see that this will simplify down to Q times V over T. And I'll do it as Q over T times V. But Q over T by definition is I. Remember, I is current, which is flow of charge, which is Q over T. And this is what I mean by, you know, when we give you a formula like P equals VI, it's not going against, we're not redefining things. We're just giving you a shortcut because in the case of electricity, in an electrical circuit, you're most likely measuring the voltage and the current. You're not likely measuring the force or the charge individually. Yeah. <clears throat> but so if we know the voltage and the current, we can, using all the things we've learned before, put that together to get P equals VI ultimately. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not that these, we're not making new definitions. We use the old definitions to get new formulas that shortcut the process for us, if you like. Oh, okay. yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 